On question number three, notice you're applying a rule, so that's deductive reasoning. On number four, we're following a pattern, so that's inductive reasoning. And the same thing for number five. We're, look at, we're assuming that pattern is going to continue, so that's inductive reasoning. On question number 11, this is where when they use the word sum, that's where you're going to see the traditional Venn diagram. You, we usually say a Venn diagram. We think of that as we have two circles that overlap. And so what happens is some nurses wear blue uniforms, and we're told Sabrina is a nurse. But notice, just because she's a nurse doesn't mean she has to wear a blue uniform. She could be, so that is an invalid conclusion. Um, number 12 is more like the example we did from the seminar. That is, all vegetarians do not eat meat. So maybe you want to write that is if you're a vegetarian. So here's my, or do I say, yeah. If you're a vegetarian, and then we have people who do not eat meat. Okay. So we're told Theo's a vegetarian. Therefore, he doesn't eat meat. That is a valid conclusion with our Venn diagram. Uh, number 14, we're told if we have a sports utility vehicle, then it's a four-wheel drive built on a truck chassis. We're told Mr. Rodriguez purchased a four-wheel vehicle. So I'll put R for Rodriguez. Our conclusion is he has purchased a sports utility vehicle. Well, we didn't say, whoops, I put it in the wrong spot, didn't I? He purchased a four-wheel drive, which is right here. There we go. Now, since he purchased a four-wheel drive, he could have purchased a sports vehicle, but he doesn't have to, so that is invalid. Okay, in question 15, we can't use the law of syllogism because the hypothesis of the second conditional is not the same as the conclusion of the first conditional. Notice, uh, our first conclusion is you're going to have warm hands. But our second hypothesis, you do not have warm hands. They're not the same. So that is not valid. And... On number 16, you should have something about inductive reasoning uses several examples. So in other words, inductive reasoning is a pattern. Well, deductive reasoning, go back to our seminar. It's established on facts, rules, definitions, or properties to use conclusion. Okay, One counterexample is enough to prove, uh, disprove a conjecture using the inductive or deductive. Deductive is only valid by proving a conjecture. So inductive reasoning can be used to prove, cannot be used to prove a conjecture. That is, all it takes is one counterexample. But deductive reasoning, we're going from the general to the specific. That's the other way I think about it. Think of it as I've got my general rule here, and I've got my specific rule here. Actually, I got those backwards. Let's try that again. Okay. So I've got my general rule here. And if my general rule applies to a specific case, that's the way to think about deductive reasoning.